Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for Windows 11 24H2 in the release preview channel. As you know, Windows 11 24H2 is very close to being released, and Microsoft has released a new update for the release preview channel of Windows 11 24H2. And the build that we're talking about today is the build 2600.1876, as I've said, for 24H2. And we have a few new interesting features which we're going to cover in this video. And also, one thing that I have to mention is that Microsoft also released an update for 23H2 and 22H2, but the new changes and features are pretty much the same on all versions. So I'm just gonna cover the 24H2 build because I think that is more interesting. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is changing the account manager in the start menu. So if you click on your account, you're gonna notice that the sign out button is now present in the main interface of the account manager. And also if you have multiple users connected to your system we're gonna have three dots here that you can press in order to have access to all the users and be able to switch between them really easily also Microsoft is introducing a new option which will let you share files that appear in the search results in Windows directly from the search box and I think that is pretty good on my system that has not been rolled out yet but of course it should be rolled out for you in the settings app if we're going to Windows update and then advanced options and then delivery optimization we're gonna notice that this page right now matches the Windows 11 design principles I think that is very good and also if you're going to settings system power and battery and then energy recommendations you should see here a new energy recommendation to turn off high dynamic range HDR this helps to conserve energy on devices that have HDR displays inside system and then power and battery we also have a new power mode if you click on it you're gonna notice that you have different options for when your laptop or PC is plugged in or on battery and you can change the power mode for each case related to settings if we're going to Bluetooth and device and then mouse you're gonna notice that we have the new option enhanced pointer precision that we can turn on or off and also the scrolling direction which you can change from down motion scrolls down to down motion scrolls up related to the lock screen Microsoft update the media controls to now show in the lower part of the lock screen at its center when media is playing on your Windows operating system we also have two new features that are rolling normally for example this update adds attributions to credits.txt files for rust OSS components when a combo box has input focus a memory leak might occur when you close that window and also related to webview 2 apps they did not detect input from xbox 360 and bluetooth controllers so this is pretty much all there is to it related to windows 11 24h2 the update for the release preview channel if you want to check out also the update for 23h2 and 22h2 we're going to have more info in the article below if you're interested in that so this was the video for today of course in the coming days i'm going to keep you up to date on what is happening related to windows 11 24h2 when it's releasing and so on if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.